Ooby doo It's everyone's favorite boomer and vintage lens enthusiast. And you see I have a plastic box here, a snap lid. It's an attached snap lid. Oh, look at that. There's a camera in here. Let's look at it. Oh, well, it's the Sony. Uh, which Sony is this? It's the A5000. And it has a photodiox uh, dumb adapter on it, which is Nikon to next or to E mount. And it has a uh, the the pen, the, <laughs> the zoom Nikkor 28 to 50 millimeter 3.5 on it. And um, it said F11. It's, notice it's blue. That's its uh, sweet spot. This is push pull. And um, it has a aperture ring, so uh, you could make your own uh, aperture adjustments. And if you put it in S mode, then the camera will just pick the shutter speed for you. And um, it's a really nice combo. It's a little heavy, but it works. But I don't want to discuss that. I want to discuss, give everyone a pro tip. If you got gear. You should go out to the, the supermarket because that's the best place to get it or a dollar store or someplace like that, a big box store and then get yourself a set of uh, plastic boxes. Uh, how big is this box? Uh, usually it says how many like uh, quarts or something it is. But it doesn't say. Uh, oh, it's clear. That's good because you can see what's in it a little bit. But why the box? Well, in America, that is uh, North America, we live in a, a post-industrialized um, uh, society and we do still actually do have industry, but we have transportation. And even if we all want EV, uh, uh, you have to have brakes in your EV. Uh, I know they have dynamic braking, but you still need brakes to stop the car. And then when the brakes hit the rotors or the drums, uh, they're going to make some sort of dust. And then um, uh, even EVs have uh, rubber tires. And how come you have to get new tires? Because they wear out where the rubber meets the road, so to speak. And then you, know, you get more uh, micro uh, pollutants. Plus, um, everyone uses gas stoves. How evil gas stoves. They must make some sort of particulates. Uh, uh, any, at this thing, you do your laundry and you put your clothes in a dryer. And then, you know, you have your lint trap and you capture all that lint, but it doesn't capture all the lint as it goes into the air. So anything people do uh, create dust. If you live in a temperate zone where you have more than one season, and in the winter they have to put down salt and sand, and then you get uh, that, which is more particulate matter. Oh, and let's not forget the great evil uh, jet airplanes where people like to go back and forth in their airplanes. And an airplane uses like uh, 50 gallon, 50,000 gallons of fuel to go from here to there. And then uh, or the, that, you've seen contrails or chemtrails in the air. Well, what do you think they are? They're in complete combustion. There's particulate matter. Uh, there's uh, injects water vapor, which, uh, you know, that's another story. But then... Um, you know, there's always dust, 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 dust. For I don't know where the dust comes from, but even in my house, I have these HEPA filters, and they collect dust. And uh, I have to clean the HEPA filters off once a month because they get full with this white dust. Here's the old lens that I hate. This is a Sigma. And if you look real close, this has been sitting on this table for a couple of months. I don't know if you could see the dust on this lens, but there's a lot of dust there. Just think that uh, it's not just dust, it could be some sort of volatile matter that precipitates out and uh, it gets on your lens. Um, you know, there's all sorts of chemicals in our society and it's all in the air. Maybe some stuff from East Palestine is uh, on this lens now and it's going to eat into the glass. So, uh, one of the best things you could do for your photographic gear is uh, if you have more stuff to fit in a gadget bag is get these boxes and then the dust gets on the top of the box and you go oh that's nasty uh, and you can wipe it off and it stays off your camera and it stays out of your lenses I mean it's just like a shield to block all this uh, industrial fallout and pollutants from affecting your gear and it'll last a lot longer so I highly recommend it. And they have different boxes and all different shapes, rectangular ones, you know, to see how big your camera is and, 
they're, they're cheap. Say they're two, three bucks each. You get, get a whole bunch of them and keep all your gear in boxes. So you, I highly recommend you do this.